We drove a 2017 Honda Ridgeline to a place in Death Valley called Racetrack Playa, a famous geological oddity in a remote corner of this massive and inhospitable national park. It's never a good idea to travel solo in a place with death in its name, so we brought along a 2016 Toyota Tacoma TRD off-road 4x4 pickup and a 2016 Nissan Titan XD. The route is 27 miles of graded dirt, but we had to travel nearly 100 miles on the park's paved roads to get there. It didn't take long for the relentless washboard surface to inadvertently turn this desert road trip into a comparison test. Not even halfway to the racetrack, we ran into some problems. After camping overnight, we hit the road early the next morning to get back to civilization. So we've come off 50 miles of dirt. We could see that it did better than uh, the first generation truck on the same road. We had uh, problems on all three vehicles. I didn't expect that. I really thought if we were gonna have problems, it'd be this one, and the other two would come out unscathed because they have off-road packages. Oh, wow. This one's blown up. Yeah, that thing just exploded or something. This right rear one is smoking. Well, we learned something here today. It turns out that uh, a washboard dirt road, if it's rough enough and long enough, can bring an off-road package to its knees. When we got back to town, we split up and went to dealerships near our respective homes. I took the TRD off-road Tacoma to my local Toyota dealership and pulled into the service line and the service rider came out, heard my story and looked underneath there and saw the shocks in their terrible state and said, wow, TRD off-road package, that shouldn't have happened. And uh, next day I picked it up, uh, they had warrantied it, didn't cost me a cent, everything was great. And then when I got home, I looked at the ticket and there was some small print there that pretty much indicated that they didn't believe my story. They, I think they think I jumped it or something. You know, it said, suspect outside influence. And they fixed it, but it doesn't look like uh, they would do it again if I brought it in the second time. Kurt took the Nissan Titan to a dealership near his house. They didn't seem to really want to work with him. They said they couldn't really fix the tailgate trim because it looked like we'd broken it. The boxes that were in the bed that were jammed closed, they didn't really want to fix those. They gave us some story about the company being out of business. The shocks, they looked at them and they said, yeah, we can do that. After a week, we get the truck back. The first railroad tracks I go over, I realized that the front shocks were blown out and the dealership didn't even test drive it. I took it to a different dealership near my house and they were a lot more agreeable. Wasn't sure if it was gonna be covered under warranty until later that day when they called me back to say that it all would be. I got it back, everything was great. They were real nice to me. They even apologized because they saw the Tennessee plates that the truck has, because it's from Nissan. They didn't put two and two together though. They figured I was a tourist from Manufacturer County, which I thought was pretty funny. The Ridge Line turned out to be pretty easy too. We took it to the Honda dealership and told them the story and they said they would order parts. A couple days later, we get the word that they're gonna replace both shocks. We're not really sure. All we know is they told us that only the right rear was damaged as we had suspected, but they replaced both, and it didn't cost us a cent. So this is uh, the business end of the rear suspension of the Ridgeline. Uh, this shock right here is the new shock, but you can see they reused the boot, which is really surprising because in the case of the Titan and the Tacoma, those were melted severely. Looked like they even burned. Um, but here, no sign of heat. Uh, this one just leaked a little bit. They didn't clean up all the oil. Not nearly as much work to do because this suspension, independent suspension, there's not a lot of unsprung weight here. This shock's job is a lot easier than it is in the Titan and the Tacoma. This trip started out as pretty much uh, one truck against the road, the Ridgeline. The other two trucks weren't really supposed to feature in this except maybe as a sidebar. But the road had other ideas and it dragged them deep into this and turned it into a comparison test. The Ridgeline did way better than they did and that was a huge surprise. 